This morning, the Japanese military managed to get a helicopter close enough to the top of Mount Ontake to start winching off a handful of survivors. But with the mountain covered in a thick layer of choking ash, it's still too dangerous for them to land. When rescue teams finally reached the top of the mountain on foot at lunchtime today, they found a grim scene. At least 31 people were dead and another 30 or more are still missing. Hundreds of hikers were on the mountain on Saturday lunchtime when it suddenly erupted without warning. Video shot by survivors shows a massive pyroclastic cloud rolling down the mountain at great speed, enveloping everything. Remarkably, more than 200 people managed to clamber down the mountain through the choking volcanic ash. The volcanic rocks fell like hailstones. We couldn't breathe, so we covered our mouths with towels. We couldn't open our eyes either. Others were forced to take refuge in a series of mountain huts close to the summit. Today, some of those made it down the mountain on foot and described a terrifying night. It's not clear why there was no warning of Saturday's eruption. Japan monitors its volcanoes closely, and any that shows signs of activity is immediately closed to hikers. But this time, that did not happen. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.